this drive. And he rifles one incomplete. We've seen these defenses make enough opportunistic plays to keep this one low scoring. Flying around, making plays on the ball, and we see yet another errant throw as a result. So after the incompletion on first, now second and ten. Allen off the play fake, rolling to his right. And this one taken in on the right sideline, but not in the field of play. They say it's incomplete. The throw led him a little too far. It brings up third down. Tough series for the passing game. Things just aren't clicking. Hope it didn't come through on this play and get this series back on track with a completion for enough yardage for a first down. Now they face a third and ten after back-to-back -back incompletions. Allen going to throw. He's got his target. That's complete. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. A good pickup there, 26 yards. Whenever we talk about moving the sticks and controlling the football, there's a great example right there. Those are the third downs you need to convert to win football games. We're in the third quarter of this one, and this is a tight one. In order to maintain pace, keep the ball away from the other team and put points on the board, those are the plays they need to continue to convert. Cook up the gut. And he'll work down inside the 45. In the first half, he was held in check on the ground, but despite that lack of production, they still have the lead. Yeah, and they've got to feel fortunate about that. If they could actually get production from their lead horse, that would help open up this offense and widen this margin, too. Second down and six now. Here's Allen. Oh, batted at the line and intercepted. Picked off by Jerome Baker. And he's able to get it back to the 41-yard line. That is a tough way to start the third quarter. You get the football, hoping to drive it down, put it in the end zone, and take the lead. Instead, they give them the football. And I think the key here is for them to not get discouraged. That is not how they drew it up, not how they saw it in their minds. But there's a long way to go in this game. You know, they've just got to find a way to come back one play at a time. Yes, it's a cliche, but they can get it done. And he gets this down inside the 35 before going out of bounds. 75 yards for him on the ground now as he has been terrific here this afternoon. Well, no matter how they phrase it, staying on schedule, staying ahead of the sticks, whatever you want to call it, seven yards on first down, that fits the bill. From the 34-yard line here, second and three. Out of the gun, here's a give to Achan. A pickup of about three yards as he's taken down at the 31. Here comes third and about a foot. They'll run for it with Achan. And he's able to pick up the first down here before he goes down at the 26. Give him the third down conversion. Five yards on the play. Now Achan on first and ten. Nine yards is the pick up there, and they'll have a second and one. Kid had a ton of success here so far, but you get the feeling that he might be on the verge of popping one. Yeah, even on that one, there was a little bit of a hole, but it closed there quickly at the end. They hand it off to Moster, and he'll get him inside the 15 down to the 14-yard line. All runs on this drive so far. It's first and 10. They'll stay on the ground with Moster. And now they're inside the 10 as he's brought down at the 9. Five yards on the carry. Good pickup on first down. Consecutive positive runs for him on the last two snaps. He certainly appears to be trying to put the offense on his back and just move them down the field when his number is called. The way he's running it, I keep going back to him. And he stopped immediately there. They'll say no gain on the play there. Now it'll be third down. 
They've called his number a lot this afternoon. You wonder how much tread is left on those tires. We certainly do, but I always think back to one of my favorite coaches in the NFL. And he used to have a meeting with his running backs every year in the offseason and say, look, as many times as you're going to carry the ball, you should be able to carry it one more time. So make sure you get in shape. Here's Mostert, and he will take it in for a Dolphins touchdown. Raheem Mostert with his second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Dolphins have taken the lead here in the final seconds of the third quarter. Extra point up and good by Sanders, and the lead is up to five. Now after the touchdown, ready to kick it away is Sanders. They're going to take this up close to the 40, so a really good starting field position. Offense ready to go for their next drive. Play action. Now it's Allen. And that's caught inside the 30. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. Great start to the second quarter. Better than 30 yards. Back now in Buffalo. The Bills have the football, but they trail here as we begin quarter number four. So now then, the big play has him all the way inside the 30 now, first and 10. Here's Allen to throw it. He will find Diggs in the end zone. Touchdown, Buffalo. Stephon Diggs, his second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Bills have taken a fourth quarter lead. I know we often laugh and sometimes we even exalt the guys who are great trash talkers and give us some really funny lines. But the bottom line is absolute production on the field. His second touchdown of the game, and they lead. And now they'll be looking to their defense to preserve that lead. Here we go now as we get set for a big two-point conversion. Allen will try to throw for it. And this one's caught. And their fourth quarter lead grows by a couple more. So they make the decision. They want a three-point lead versus a two-point lead, and they got it. Yeah, at this stage of the game, it seems like the exact right thing to do. Put a little pressure on your defense, but the biggest thing now is you're making the other team chase you. And they'll let that one go as it skips through the back of the end zone for a touchback. The Dolphins at the line ready for their next drive. And they will be looking to answer the touchdown. Their defense just surrendered. Still a good chunk of time remaining here in the fourth quarter and a chance to regain the lead in a tight one. On the ground, it's Mostert to start the drive. And they're able to get this one across the 35. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. Running the counter with Mostert. And some nifty running here as he'll take this across midfield and down to the 47. Once again, it's Mostert. And not a lot of daylight, not really any daylight inside as he's going to be stopped right at the line of scrimmage. Brings up second down. He's having a big game running the football, but that one will hurt the yards per carry a little bit. Yeah, but the average he's got so far... That's the type of average he wants to take with him to contract negotiations, doesn't he? On second down, a run by Achan. And a five-yard gain gets him to the 42. So they'll try to move the ball closer here on third down. A field goal from this spot would be just inside of 60 yards, 59 to be exact. And he gets it to the 34, good enough for the first. 70 yards on the ground for him now on nine carries. Okay. 
A run with Mostert up the middle. And for one of the few times here today, this run's not going to go anywhere. Call it no gain on the play, and it'll be second down. Nice job there defensively to clamp down because, really, they've been on their heels this drive. Agreed, and they really needed that one for confidence, just to feel a little bit better. But I don't know if I would be daunted by them stopping me on one run. This drive has gone pretty well. I could come right back at them. H.N. gets it from the gun. A pickup of about three yards as he's taken down at the 31. Well, praise has to go to the guys in the offensive line because they've had a very nice, productive day running the football. How about that poor defensive line? They've been knocked around the entire game, and while they slowed them down on that run, can they continue to do so because they haven't had much success throughout this ball game? Going to the air, tug of Iloa. Oh, it's a screen pass. That's complete. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. Less than two to play with just a field goal separating these two sides. Plenty of time. All three timeouts still remain. Here's first and ten now. Here's Tua. A run straight ahead with A-Chan. Offensive linemen love creating space for their guys carrying the ball, but when that guy also breaks tackles and creates extra yardage, they almost feel like he's one of them, and they really embrace him. Now second and four. Throwing Tua. They go back to the ground, this time Moster. He will push his way down to about the 14. Now the Bills are going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. Tua. They'll try and run here with Moster. He's going to be a yard short. Needed two, but only got one. Fourth down. Now the Bills will use the second of their timeouts. That'll leave them with just one remaining in this fourth quarter of play. Here we go. This is fourth down. Now Tua. They'll try it now with Mostert. And he is not going anywhere. They stop him for no gain. They had to go for it with such little time remaining. And that's going to be just about all she wrote for this one. Bills come to the line to start their next drive. And this game not quite in hand yet. We'll likely see all three timeouts defensively and then reassess where we are. And he'll use his blockers to get this up over the 20 to the 21. Good gain there on first down. It keeps them in a running situation probably. They did everything right on that play, didn't they? They got the leverage up front, good blocking. Nice hole for him. Ends up picking up nice yardage. Stays in bounds to keep the clock rolling. They are in charge of this scenario right now. They want to stay that way. And not in any rush offensively. So they come up on second down. If they can get another run like we just saw, would likely put an end to this thing. He's going to get it again. Just looking to get forward and protect the ball. And nothing doing. He's immediately taken down at the line of scrimmage. As usual, the hallmark of a good run defense, linebackers making plays near the line of scrimmage. Absolutely nowhere to run there. Third and three. Coming to you, coming to you. 
So it's a victory here for the Buffalo Bills, and they were spurred on by a strong performance in that fourth quarter.